Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is slightly different and I really hope you enjoy it. If you want to see my 90s designer inspired set, then keep on watching this video and I'll share how I created it. It's super fun and super bright and I love how it turned out. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. Okay, so these are the nails that I did with my painted French design and I've just gone ahead and removed that French polish off the ends and now we're coming in with a different design. So all the paints that I'm using are at Nailmates gel polishes. They are super pigmented and super easy to work with so I absolutely love using them. I'm also using the Rainbow Detailer brush and as always in case you miss anything I'll be sure to link all of the products down below so if you're interested then definitely check that out. So on this first finger I'm just doing a smile line of rainbows. I adore rainbows, I love them and wherever possible I like to add rainbows to everything. <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just going down the nail in some kind of a rainbow order and I love how it turned out. I do cure between each colour because you don't want to be having it running into the previous one that's been laid down and it just keeps everything nice and crisp and makes sure it all stays in position. Moving on to the next nail, once I've finished curing that, I am going to be doing kind of a 90s retro crazy theme. I simply made this up as I went along. Every single nail was like, I want to try something new, I want to do something different. So I kind of just had a little experiment with the gel polish and my detailer brushes because I really wanted to do something kind of artistically, I'd say challenging. It is a little bit challenging because it's different working with gel paints when you're not used to doing it. Of course, once you've done it for a while and you've practiced, you kind of get your skill down and everything's like easier. Still not super easy, but it's easier after you've practiced. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to sit and challenge myself. Initially, I wasn't going to film, but I thought, why the heck not? Why the heck not share it with you guys and share the process? So I'm just applying the colours in random splodges and curing between each layer and then I come in and do a second coat of each colour and then cure again. So then I can come in with the next layer of colours and kind of layer those over the top. I also just want to say hi to all of you new subscribers. The family is growing bigger and better every single day and I'm super, super appreciative of every single one of you for watching my videos, liking, sharing and commenting. It means so much to me. So thank you so much. So as you can see I've already cured those in the lamp so everything is dry and I'm just going to overlap the next colours and then cure them in place and do a second coat on those as well. Next I'm coming in with the white out gel polish and the detailer brush and I'm just drawing some geometric shapes on the nail. 
when drawing these shapes you just want to kind of take your time really eyeball it up and don't be afraid to kind of move your hand or your client's hand into the position that you need it as long as you're not breaking any fingers or twisting any muscles or anything like that just kind of feel confident enough to move the nail where you need it because that really is key sometimes you can't quite get the angle on some things so by moving that nail around it just really helps you to get those crisp lines and really perfect the angles and everything like that so yeah i'm just making sure everything's perfect and once i'm happy i go ahead and flash cure in the nail mate lamp and then i'm coming in and adding a circle and this again was super random, I was just making it up as I went along and building the pattern as I went and I love how it turned out. It would look super cute with pretty pastels like a mint, pastel blue, lilac and pink, it would look so pretty. But for this set I wanted to keep it bright and vibrant. So I am just going to go ahead and add more shapes and then I'll be back in a little second to add kind of a black drop shadow to the shapes because I really wanted it to have that 90s kind of vibe to it. So I'm coming in with Nailmate Midnight Black Gel Polish and the Detailer Brush and I'm just going to go ahead and add that drop shadow that I mentioned earlier and I just add it to two sides of the shape and yeah it just really makes it pop and stand out and look super fab. Once I was happy with the drop shadows, I come in again with the black gel polish and the detail and I'm just adding some random lines and geometric shapes, hollow this time. I'm not going to fill them in, I just wanted to keep them kind of hollow so you can see everything underneath and really have a layered pattern and it just looks super awesome, it looks super super cool. And then doing the same thing with the white gel polish so i'm just adding a zigzag and don't forget as well to cure between each piece once you're happy with it flash cure and that just means that it's going to be protected it's not going to move you're not going to smudge it and everything is safe and good to go so yeah i'm just perfecting that little zigzag and then i add some little white lines as well just for extra added interest and just to make the design a little bit more kind of busy Okay, so once I finished with that nail, I was like, you know what? I was sat looking at my nails, I was like, what am I gonna do? It was getting super late at night. I was like, I'll only do these two nails and that'll be fine and I'll just leave the rest. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna add some like designer hand painted little bits onto these nails because it'd be super cool. So anyway, I decided to freehand some designer Louis Vuitton logos and of course, I then decided to do a Louis Vuitton print. I was like, damn, this one looks bomb. I'm gonna carry on. It kind of gave me a little bit of like mojo to carry on into the night, painting my nails with tiny little logos. So here I am painting on the Louis Vuitton um, little monogram. And I do this in the rainbow of colors that I used on the other nails because it just seemed to fit perfectly with the design. So between each section of the logo, so I'll kind of do the L and the V and then flash cure and then do the little flicky bits on each end and then I'll do the second layer after I've flashed after I'd flash cured that as well. Just because again, as I said, I can't stress enough when you're hand painting, once you are happy with a bit, make sure you are curing it in the lamp. So I do want to remove this set of nails, I currently have them on now, it's been like a bit more time of course um, and they are ready to be taken off. I could infill them but I want to do a sculpted set so I think I'm going to do a detailed removal video so if you're excited for that let me know because I know I am, like I am super excited for it and I don't know why because it is just a basic removal video but I'm going to drop for my tips and tricks and everything you need to remove your nails. 
I'm coming in with Nailmate Super Gloss and top coating those two nails because I was happy with them. I knew I was finished. That's the end of that. Let's move on. I'm lying. I top coated three of the nails. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm happy with those, I'm moving on to my pinky finger and I had this crazy idea of doing like a rainbow plaid kind of pattern and then I was like, why not do kind of a rainbow Burberry style pattern? Kind of still on the plaid side, but not really, um, but kind of, if you know what I'm saying. So I decided to start off with the rainbow on one side of the nail and then come in with the white and the black and the red stripes. And honestly, this nail was so cute. I would definitely 1000% wear a full set of just this nail. It was gorgeous. And as I was doing it as well, I got, I was looking at this bit and I was like, oh my God, it reminds me of the old Instagram logo. Do you know, like the brown and cream one that had the little rainbow strip? I loved that logo. It was so freaking bomb. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just painting the white and butting it right up to the red and where the red starts. I cure that in the lamp and then I'm coming in with Midnight Black Gel Polish and just adding a stripe at the top and the bottom going all the way through the rainbow stripes as well. I added the red stripes with Poppy Gel Polish from Nailmate and then this is the final look. I love how it turned out. Time to top cut this nail and then we can move on to the tie dye nail on the thumb. Honestly, I stared at my thumbnail for so long, I was not sure what to do. I was like, what shall I do? Literally, I bet I was sat there 20 minutes just pondering, racking my brain, like tempted to do another one of those 90s inspired pattern nails. I was like, I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that again. It took me quite a while. So I wanted something simple and I was like, ah, a little tie dye nail with all the colors that I've used. So. Here I am just layering the colours on. You want to layer them on not too thick but you want enough product so that when you drag your brush through it spreads nicely. Also um, you're not curing between applying the colours, you're just keeping them all nice and wet. Once you've got all your colours applied you simply come in either with a dotting tool or a detailer brush and just drag through the product and that's just going to create the effect of a tie dye nail and I love how it turned out. It's Honestly, super easy to do and it looks like you've been sat there painting all day. I just come in as well at the tip and just feather those down a little bit more just to make sure that it's exactly how I want before going ahead and curing. Look how cute that is. Honestly, I love it. So after I cured in the lamp for a full 60 seconds, I'm coming in with Nailmate Super Gloss and I'm applying a nice even layer, making sure also to cap the free edge and the side walls as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp and then share the final result. Okay guys, this is the final result and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved creating it. It was definitely something different. I really really enjoyed it and i can't wait to do more random gel polish paintings so yeah 
If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck. And don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.